Does the lower part of your VHF airband get overwhelmed with signals and become overloaded from FM broadcast band signals? If so, it probably looks something like what you see on the screen now. Well, let me show you how I went from that to this. Okay, so here we are monitoring part of the VHF airband this evening and you can see right now on the screen roughly from 118 up to 125.5 megahertz is being displayed. The receiver in question is an AirSpy R2 and that is hooked up to a custom um, airband dipole antenna that I have made that is around 40 feet high in the air and connected with RG6 coax. Now right now it uh, doesn't look too unusual or peculiar and uh, I wanted you just to pay attention and listen to some of the transmissions. So um, we're, we've got uh, TAR on 1183, we have uh, Approach on 120.5, or Arrivals it's also known as. Uh, we have Ground and Clearance, that are these two, 1241 and 121.7, so all of which I can pick up uh, simultaneously with the AirSpy R2. And, um, and what I want to demonstrate is just what happens um, under normal circumstances because right now I'm using an FM filter so I'm using a Nolak Flamingo FM filter which enables me to be able to monitor this part of the spectrum now just as I'm speaking to you I'm going to show you what happens when I remove the filter and connect the antenna directly to the AirSpy so the filter has just been removed and I'm now connecting the same antenna directly to the AirSpy R2. Watch what happens. Okay, so that mess is FM broadcast band interference that's being picked up by the antenna and possibly by the uh, coax feed line as well, but that completely ruins reception on this part of the airband. I mean I can't do anything, I can't monitor those uh, four or five frequencies that I was showing you a few seconds ago whenever there is no FM filter in place. So once I got the antenna up as high as it is, this is what I was faced with. So I made the decision to purchase the Nualec, um Flamingo FM filter. And what it is, it's a, it's a band stop filter. So I'm just going to put it back in line because that is ridiculous. I didn't change any of the settings. And again, if you just look at all the settings on the left hand side, um, I'm about to disconnect the antenna and I am reconnecting the um, the Nualec Flamingo FM band stop filter. And I'll now reconnect the antenna to the filter and now I can monitor once again the signals that are actually taking place in that part of the spectrum. So uh, we can hop around and, uh, and monitor the various channels that we could see here before and it actually works. It is monitorable with the filter. Without the filter I cannot monitor anything at all as you could see. So um, that was just a quick video to let you see the difference that an FM band stop filter can make to you at the actual reception. And uh, let's have a listen. Contact departure one three three six five air one K for takeoff from way uh, one two cog at uh, nine twenty two K. So you can see there again, uh, the signal was coming through on tar, and uh, um, unusually, I was able to pick up the uh, aircraft right there on the ground as well, on the tar frequency. That was being rebroadcast on the clearance and the ground frequencies there at the same time because the one controller is manning all three positions right now. But without the filter, I don't get to hear that. So again, I'll just uh, I'll remove the filter. We'll. Uh, plug the antenna directly into the air spy and I'll lower the gain and we'll see even if I can pick anything up. I'm not sure if I'd be able to even receive a single thing on these frequencies but, but maybe I can get something. So um, let's go over here to the gain and this is the first time I'm modifying the gain in this video. So we'll drop the gain down here 
and see if anything even comes through on those frequencies. So now it's just a waiting game for another transmission to take place. The aircraft that was given permission to take off will actually come up next on the uh, departures frequency which isn't in this part of the band so we won't see it. Um, now you'll notice that the FM broadcast interference does tail off the higher you get in frequency but uh, right now it is quite bad in this part of the spectrum. So right now there is a transmission happening on 119.5 uh, that's been picked up by the scanner but not even seeing it here because of all the interference. So um, Oh, we've got one here at 123.2. That's an aircraft that's basically right overhead in the circuit for a local uh, airport. But we, um, yeah, we missed completely the transmission on 119.5 there. Uh, it was just too weak to pick out from all that noise without the filter. So once again, uh, removing the antenna and putting the filter back in place, then connecting the same antenna back up to the filter, making the chain once more. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll put the game back to what it was before, and then we actually get to receive. Yeah, well, inside the final approach, I, you, if you read our vector meter two miles off the end of the runway, I'll be happy. Okay, I can do that, and uh, you can uh, continue on the first time for now. Heading for now, Delta Delta X ray, thank you. Coach at 922, heading for the center, 1343. Delta Delta X ray, 1343. So there you can see the difference that having the filter makes. Uh, with the filter, these frequencies can be monitored. Without the filter, it was nothing but noise. So uh, it's a thumbs up from me from for the new Alec. Flamingo FM Bandstop Filter. As you can see, having an FM filter can make a huge difference to whether you actually receive any signals or not. Do you suffer from broadcast band FM interference? If so, what solutions have you used? Please comment below and let other SDR users know what your solution has been. If you're interested in the Nualac Flamingo, then there's a link in the description below where you can obtain that for yourself. And all that remains then for me is to thank you for joining us once again. And to ask you if this video has been helpful, please hit the like button. And also, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this content because there's lots more like it coming your way. Thank you for joining with me on the channel today. All that remains is for me to wish you well, to say keep safe, and I'll see you next time. This is Frugal Radio. Over and out.